Hello and welcome. My name is Alan. We're trying to get caught up here. This is Sunday's video. <laughs> uh, today we are looking at the top. No, sorry. We are back with more 118th Congress. And today we are looking at Representative Jennifer Wexton. She is the representative for the 10th district of Virginia, which is one of the most northernmost uh, districts of Virginia. So it's up there with Loudoun and Prince William and that area, Alexandria and all that stuff. That, that type of area. Now, she is a Democrat. And before she took office, she was preceded in office by Barbara Comstock. Now, let's go ahead and look at who she is as an individual. She was born in Washington, D.C. on May the 27th, 1968. Graduated from Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda, Maryland in 1986. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Maryland in College Park, Maryland in 1991. Earned a JD from the College of William and Mary Law School in Williamsburg, Virginia in 1995. Has been a private practice lawyer. Assistant Commonwealth Attorney for Loudoun County, Virginia, 2001 to 2005. Substitute Judge in Loudoun, Virginia, 2010 to 2011. Member of the Virginia State Senate, 2014 to 2018, before being elected as a Democrat to the 116th and two following Congresses. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees she is on. She is on the committee on the budget. She is on the committee on appropriations, of which she's on the subcommittee on the Legislative Branch and the Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing and Urban Development and Related Agencies. Now let's go ahead and look at her top five industry donors over her career. At the top, retired, who altogether have donated 1,461,920 dollars. Next is lawyers and law firms who have all together donated $1,350,037. Next is Democratic liberal groups who have donated $838,483. Next is real estate who all together have donated $670,215. Dollars and fifth is Securities and Investment, who altogether have donated five hundred and fifty three thousand ninety six dollars. Now, let's go ahead and look at her top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have Emily's List. And it is an American PAC that aims to help elect Democratic female candidates in favor of abortion rights to office and was founded by Ellen Malcolm in 1985. Getting its name from early money is like yeast. It makes the money rise, which is a common political fundraising ideation. Uh, saying the more donors you get early, the more they'll keep coming in is the whole idea. But anyway, it bundles contributions to the campaigns of Democratic women in favor of abortion rights running in targeted races. So yeah, altogether, it has donated $118,742. Let's 
And once again, that's Emily's list. Next, at number two, we have J Street. And it is a non-profit liberal Zionist advocacy group based in the U.S. whose stated aim is to promote American leadership to end the Arab-Israeli and Israeli-Palestinian conflicts peacefully and diplomatically. And, yeah, um, while it is not the worst, it's still one of these pro-Zionist groups. And it's like, look, can we... Uh, I'm at least happy they want a two-side. Groups like APEC are evil and just want to commit genocide for one group. So, yeah. It, yeah. Anyway, altogether, it has donated $110,024.00. And, once again, that's J Street. Next, at number three, we have Swing Left. It is a progressive political group with hybrid PAC status in the U.S. that was created following the election of Donald Trump in 2016 with a goal of gaining a Democratic majority in U.S. legislatures, and it was founded by Ethan Todus, Todrus White Hill, Miriam Stone, Josh Crafton, Michelle Finocchi, and Matt Ewing to create ways for Democrats to volunteer in their nearest swing district. Uh, the initial mission was to win a Democratic majority in the House of Representatives in 2018 by building a network of volunteers and donors in targeted swing districts across the U.S. Swing Left uses a margin of 15 points to determine which seats are considered swing seats and then concentrates their efforts there. Yeah. Anyway. Altogether, it has donated $106,464, and once again, that's Swing Left. Next, at number four, we have Jones Day, an American multinational law firm based in Washington, D.C. that as of 2023 was one of the largest law firms in the U.S., with 2,302 attorneys and among the highest grossing in the world with revenues of $2.5 billion. It was originally headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio, but the firm is representative, represented by over half of the, uh, has represented over half the countries in the Fortune 500 including Goldman Sachs, General Motors, McDonald's, and Bridgestone, and it has also represented the campaign of former President Donald Trump. So, yeah. Um, many attorneys from the firm have served in federal office as federal officials or judges, including Antonin Scalia, Don McGahn, no Francisco, Jeff, Jeffrey Sutton, Greg Katsas, Timothy Dyke, and Chad Riedler. So yeah, all together they have donated $59,811. And once again, that's Jones Day. Finally, in fifth, we have Ameripac, the Fund for a Greater America. And it is a PAC that was founded in 1992, connected with Steny Hoyer to help get Democratic leaders elected to U.S. Congress. Um, altogether, it has donated $49,300. And once again, that's Ameripac. Fun for a Greater America. 
Let's look at her donors at a glance. Industry-wise, retired, absolutely wonderful. Lawyers, uh, Democratic liberal groups, boo, suck. Real estate, uh, securities and investment, ooh, not great. You start off wonderful, retired, and then it just goes all downhill. It's like it falls off a cliff. Individually. Emily's list. Okay. J Street. Ooh. Swing left. Uh. Jones Day. Uh. Ameripac Fund for a Greater America. Boo, suck. I probably should have ranked Swing Left lower, given my propensity for my dislike of packs. Still. Emily's, yeah. Emily's list. All right, J Street, I've already stated how I feel about the pro-Israel groups with the way Gaza and the West Bank and the rest of the Middle East is going on because of the evil of Israel. Swing left. Let's just put it at an ooh. Not a big fan of PAX. While I would enjoy something that goes left, because this country's been going so far right over the last 40 years, it's fucking ridiculous. But again, they mean liberal left is who they want. Not necessarily true left. But, again, as long as you're pushing on Donald Trump, I can at least give you some credit. Jones Day, lawyer, and it's, it don't care who it works for. It's all about its money. And Ameripac, just another pack. Yeah. Anyway, this has been a look at Representative Jennifer Wexton. Who is the representative for the 10th District of Virginia? As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.